let's take a first look at Bounce in Place. Here I have a bunch of tracks, right? You heard them before. And I'm going to select one of the regions. And then I'm going to control click on that region, which brings up the contextual menus for regions. And I'm going to look for Bounce and Merge or Bounce in Place. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, right? But you can find that I used Bounce in Place recently, so it's at the top of the menu. So I'll select it, and it brings up a dialog box where, first of all, it asks you to name the new region, which I'll do. Let's call it, well, oops, <laughs> Boons Strat. Destination, let's create a new track. Source, well, that's the original region. Let's just tell it to mute it and keep it, not delete it. Uh, what else can we do here? We can bypass all the effects, right? But I have a lot of effects on this track, so I'd rather keep them. This next choice is cool. You can add space at the end of the file for the tail of the effects, and you can do the same thing for the region. So here we go. And I can include volume and pan data, but that I don't want to do, because I might want to pan it or change its volume later. Next, we can determine whether we want it to be normalized or not. There's a cool new feature called overload protection, but I don't need it on this file. I just click OK, and it bounces in place. And there it is. There's the original region, which was a MIDI region, and here is the bounced region, right? Boons Strat. Hey, let's give it a listen and see what it sounds like. And it left plenty of room for the ring out. What's really cool about Bounce in Place is you can bounce one region or several regions or all of the tracks. It's up to you. In the next tutorial, I'll show you what Bounce in Place does with sends and aux channels. Stay tuned.